Okay, so Melmetal is pretty strange. Ever since the first time anybody saw its pre-evolved form, Meltan, nobody knew what to think of it. Supposedly, accidentally showing up on Pokemon Go earlier than it should have, people just thought it was a placeholder model for a Pokemon that had not yet been implemented. The nickname Ditto Nut stuck because it looked like a hex nut just on top of a grey Ditto, and the first few would turn into Ditto after they were caught. Until finally it was revealed that this was an entirely new Pokemon, a mythical Pokemon available only in Pokemon Go. I thought it was a neat little meme, but its evolution was something else, going from a hex nut to a flex nut. Melmetal was looking like an absolute stud, the long lost Reggie brother, Reggie nut. But oh my gosh, these Pokemon have to be some of the worst to catch. Sure, it's doable, but compared to other mythical Pokemon, I think I'd much rather just walk into a GameStop for a code card. So after you've successfully connected your Pokemon Go account to your Nintendo Switch, you'll receive a mystery box. Then you need to pop open the mystery box, and for one hour, Melmetal will start showing up around you. And once you've caught a fair amount, it's time to evolve. At the cost of 400 candies. This will probably end up being a journey spanning a few days. So get those Pokeball readies because it's time to catch some Meltan. But anyway, use the candies to evolve your Meltan and transfer it into Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and there you go. But I will say that it's actually kind of worth it. Because during the year that Let's Go was the only game on the Switch, the online battles were kind of an interesting little meta. There were only the first 151 Pokemon plus Meltan and Melmetal. And boy was this thing the uncontested king of Kanto. This thing flexed all over online battles. Nothing could stand in its way. And so the perfect way to get more people to play Pokemon Go after 2016 was to put the definitive best Pokemon in the game in it. But it does make things a little concerning, because you might start to wonder how one would obtain this Pokemon in future games. Meltan can only be caught in Pokemon Go, and even if you transfer it to mainline games, you can't evolve it. This is the only Pokemon to not only be exclusively caught in a mobile game, but have its evolution method exclusively to that same game. Well, Pokemon Sword and Shield has gone with the tried and true method of releasing a mythical Pokemon by having a timed distribution through the internet. Even though this will allow you to obtain Melmetal for free, Meltan is still only obtainable in Pokemon Go. But to make up for it, Melmetal now has a Gigantamax form, thus completing its evolution to Giganut. And if you thought Melmetal wasn't already enough of a chad, this thing is pretty much a gooey giant robot. Of course, now that it's finally in an environment of a main series game that contains almost every other Pokemon, Melmetal isn't as much of a powerhouse as it was in Let's Go, but it still packs a punch. But the question of how exactly future distributions will be handled is still up in the air. I bet Generation 9 will go through its own round of mythical Pokemon distributions, but will they just end up having separate distributions for both Meltan and Melmetal? Metal, just for the sake of completing the Pokedex? Because Meltan's only method of evolution would still be the 400 candies in Pokemon Go, unless by that point they decide to give it a new evolution method, which I think will be the case. Really just making it a timed exclusive for Pokemon Go. I'm sure it'll be something like a special item, or they could just make it a friendship evolution, or even just through leveling up. When making a new generation, it's a chance to reset things. Pokemon has changed evolution methods in the past, but I would say it will be 100% necessary to do so with Meltan. I'm sure they'll do some lore about how Professor Willow's research is finally complete and they've discovered a better way for Meltan to evolve, or something. Really, it was a cool way to introduce a new Pokemon and helped make Pokemon Go feel like it was part of the universe. But at the end of the day, Melmetal was still the most tedious Pokemon to obtain in basically all of Pokemon. At least you can flex on your friends if you go through the trouble to get one. Because why not show off your mighty mythical Melmetal? But anyway, hey, this is GatorX, and let me know what you think about Meltan and Melmetal. Some cool Pokemon. Um, okay, I'll be honest. It wasn't my favorite thing using Pokemon Go. I mean, I enjoy Pokemon Go, but I don't want to be using that to catch exclusive Pokemon. I mean, they won't even let us transfer over, like, the exclusive hats, because, you know, those are exclusive to go. I, I don't know, it's a whole thing, but Melmetal and Meltan, I think they're pretty cool. I like Melmetal. Uh, I like the Gigantamax form. That's actually pretty cool and big, but Melmetal itself, I just like how big chonky it is. Too bad it's, you know, slow. I mean, you know, that could work, but 
um, it just walks really slow as compared to everything. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to show your support. You can enable notifications by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you'd like to support me, there's the uh, heart button. I, it's, it's called the it's called the applause button, or I think it's called thanks now, something like that. Uh, if you'd like to show some additional support, if you'd like to go above and beyond, I think I deserve it. But anyway, this has been Gatorax. Have a nice day.